Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another ColourPop video. Today I'm going to be playing with the new ColourPop One and Done collection. We have a palette, we have lippies, we have glitter, we have soul body. We have so many fun things to play with, so let's get into it. All right, I have my One and Done ColourPop collection in front of me. I have my cow body suit, so I match. It's gonna be a good day. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So I think first off, I actually wanna try the Soul Body products. This is the In the Saddle set. So we have a glow oil and a shimmering dry oil. I've tried shimmering dry oils before, but I am very curious about the glow oil. I'm gonna go ahead and take this BH Cosmetics Kabuki brush and I'm gonna go into the shimmering glow oil. And this is in the shade Giddy Up. I don't really know how to use these, so I'm just gonna kind of like put a couple dots on my chest and then blend it out and see how that looks. It's definitely very pinky and it smells like coconut. It's actually very delightful. Does it look a little glowy? Maybe I'll put some on my shoulders too. This is a product I could see myself using in the summer just for an extra little glow. I'm also gonna take my beauty blender with my leftover foundation and just kind of pop over top of that to get rid of any of the pink tint. But this is kind of cute. I, is this how you're supposed to use these? I actually don't know. And here is the little box that those come in. It just has the cute little fluorescent neon writing and cow print. The other thing I want to try as well is the blushes, but there's one particular blush I want to try real quick before I do eyes. And that is this one. It is called Bankroll and it is a very pretty brown blush shade. Personally, I feel like this is a little too neutral for me to want to use as a blush. Uh, I use blush typically to add a little bit of warmth to my cheeks, but I'm actually thinking this might make a good bronzer. So I'm gonna take my Fenty bronzer brush, and I think I'm just gonna kind of like sculpt a little bit. Cute, nothing crazy, just a very nice little contoury shade. Let's go ahead and hop into the palette. As always, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Eye Primer first. And to set my primer, I'm gonna go into my Morphe R40 and I think I'm gonna go into Lasso, which is this really pretty beige light shade. I normally would set with a white or a cream, but there is no white or cream in this palette, so this seems like my best option. To start off my look, I'm gonna go into my Sigma E38 and City Limits, which is this really pretty muted brown. I'm gonna use this as my crease shade, just popping that all over. And it blends really nice into Lasso, actually. I feel like those two are very good together. Next, I'm taking my Sigma E24, and I think I'm gonna go into Bingo, which is this more darker, warm-toned matte neutral. And I'm gonna pop this into the outer part of my crease. Okay, that actually looks a lot lighter on the eye than it does in the pan. I was scared for a second, but I'm gonna pop this in the crease below where I put the previous shade, City Limits. I'm having a little trouble building up the pigment right in my outer corner here, but I can't tell if that is the shadow or if it's the eye primer and I just didn't blend it properly because it seems to be blending fine everywhere else. I think it was the eye primer because it seems to have blended really good aside from that. I really wanna dip into these pink shimmer shades in the middle. So I'm gonna go in on an ABH brush. These are just the ones that come in the palettes. And I'm gonna go into You Bet first. This is a very pretty shimmery rose gold shade. And I am popping that right on the inner part of my eyelid. Very pretty. I feel like this is super cute. Using that same brush, I'm gonna go into these boots, which is this hot pink shimmer shade. I am spritzing with a little bit of my Morphe setting spray. This one I am popping all over the rest of my lid and blending that very softly into the rose gold shade. Next, I'm taking my Morphe M321 and going into Gold Digger, which is this really deep brown matte. And I am popping this one on the very outer corner in that outer corner crease of my eye. I feel like the brown is kind of muddying up the pink on my eyelid and I really wanted that to be a staple, but that's okay because also in this collection, there are three Glitterly Obsessed shades. We have this white shifty shimmer shade, a pink shade, which I think is the one I'm gonna tap into in a second, and then this 
kind of rose gold, but mostly gold shade. Okay, I'm gonna dip into the pink one, but for reference, here is the size difference on these. So this is from the Lizzie McGuire collection a few years back. And this is the one from the One and Done collection. So I would say it's about half the size. Look how gorgeous that looks. Oh, I love these so much. I know a lot of people don't like to put them on their eye, but I say YOLO because I'm blind anyway. Ooh, that might have been a few too many sparkles on that eye. Does that look a little shimmery, shiny, splendid, or am I crazy? I think it looks good though. It's hard to tell. I can't really see my viewfinder because I don't have glasses today. Next, I'm gonna take this Lunar Beauty E7 brush and I think I wanna hop into Spur Thing, which is this very pretty light pink. And I'm going to start by smudging that on my lower lash line in the inner half. And for the outer half, I'm gonna go into The West, which is this very deep matte brown. I really like this one, it's very warm toned and I feel like it would look great with all of the other shades in the palette. I'm going to quick dip into my Dior powder just to clean up underneath my eyes and get rid of any of the smudges down there. And just for funsies, I'm going to do a little bit of a rose gold liner. This is from the ColourPop Bambi collection and it is in the shade Raindrops. I know beans, I'm almost done. I do think this look could use some wings so I'm going to go in with my Fenty eyeliner. I don't know what this is called actually. Fly liner. My Fenty fly liner. I'm going to do a little baby wing. For inner corner and brow bone, I'm going to go into my Lunar Beauty E6 and Cowgirl, which is this very pretty white shimmer shade. This is so embarrassing, but I just went to finish recording, hit finish record, and my camera stopped recording halfway through. So I just wanted to share this was the final look. I think I am going to be filming a second look with this collection tomorrow, but I just wanna let you know that this is what we came up with. I used, of course, the palette. I used the pink glitterly obsessed on my eyelids. This is in the shade Exposure. I used the Fresh Kiss Lip Lacquer in Kick It Up. And I also used the Powder Blush in the shade Prairie Air. So this was definitely embarrassing. Uh, I'm a little frustrated, but I don't have time to refill my entire makeup look today. So I will probably be filming a second look tomorrow, but I just wanted to let everybody know that that was what's up. Um, yeah. Anyway, on to the second look. We are back for look number two. So today I think I'm actually gonna use one of the blushes bankroll as a bronzer. I think I did it in my last look, but like I said, <laughs> the recording stopped recording. So I'm not actually sure how much it picked up yet because I haven't gone through and finished editing the footage. For the eye look, the first shade I'm gonna go into is City Limits, which is this lighter, beige shade. I'm using this as my crease brush. I don't really have a direction for today's look. I feel like I never go in with a plan, but we'll just see how it goes. I think for today's look, I want to do kind of a halo eye. So I'm going to bring that transition a little bit onto my lid on both sides, just the outer and inner parts. Next, I'm going to take my Lunar Beauty E5 and I'm going to go into Bingo, which is this darker tannish brown shade. I think last look I used the West, so I want to try this brown instead today. And this one I'm popping in the crease as well. And again, right on the lid on the outer and inner portions because I am going to go in and do a halo eye. I haven't done a halo eye in so long. I feel like it'll be fun to switch it up today. Next, I'm going to go in with my Sigma E54 and Coattails, which is this really pretty, like, purpley silver duochrome. And I'm just popping that right on the lid all over, and then I'll blend it out with the other shade in a second. I'm taking this shimmer just slightly above my crease because I have very small eyes and I want to make them look a little bigger. I'm going back in with that darker brown shade Bingo just to buff out the edges so it's not so harsh. And now using my Sigma E33, I'm going in with Gold Digger, which is this deepest brown shade. And I'm going to pop that really carefully on the outer and inner corners of my eye. I'm very carefully just sweeping that right over the top of that shimmer shade just to add a tiny bit of depth but not too much. So this is where we are looking so far. I think I actually want to go into Cowgirl which is this white shimmer and I'm just taking that on my finger and just pressing that literally just ever so slightly in the middle of my eyelid. Also I don't want to see no comments about how awful my nails look. Bruce has eaten this one off and then I did a color yesterday 
and I did not wear gloves when I rinsed it out. So my nails are looking pretty bad. My appointment's tomorrow though. So next video, they will look much better. This is the eye look so far. I think it's really cute. Let's go ahead and work on the lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with this Luxie 111 and City Limits again. This I'm just smudging on the inner and outer portions of my lower lash line. I think I'm gonna connect it together with the shimmer that I did on the top. Using that same brush, I'm gonna go back into Bingo and I'm just gonna follow the same spot I placed City Limits. Then I'm going in with this BH Cosmetics angle brush and I'm gonna just go back into Coattails and I'm just popping this right in the center of my lower lash line, just so it matches where it is on the top. I'm gonna do the tiniest bit of eyeliner pencil. This is the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Anti-Aging Gel Eyeliner in the shade Black Brown. I'm just very lightly gonna smudge that right along my top lashes. And for mascara, I'm just going in with my REM Beauty Lengthening Mascara. And last but not least, for my inner corner highlight and bra bone, I'm going to go back into Cowgirl. This is just a Morphe M321. We have two more blushes. This is Burn Card and this is Prairie Air. And as much as I want to try Burn Card, I just don't know if it'll be too much with this look. I think I'm going to go with Prairie Air for today's look. And then I will use Burn Card in maybe a TikTok or a reel over on my Instagram. I'm just going to go ahead and dust those cheekbones. This blush is so cute. I've had this one out on my desk and have been reaching for it since this collection came in. I think I used this one in my last look too, but it's just such a pretty color. I don't think I'm going to use a Glitterly Obsessed in today's look because I did do one in the other look. Actually, you know what? We're feeling some type of way. <clears throat> in the last look, I used the pinkier one. This one is in the shade Exposure. But today I think I wanna go into Chase, which is the white silver shade. And I think I just wanna tap that like literally right in the middle of my eyelid. I don't think this is very noticeable, but at least it's there. I do like the Glitterly Obsessed formula, but they are a pain and a half to get off of my eyes when I'm done wearing makeup. These are the three remaining lip products that I haven't used yet. And I honestly think I kinda of wanna go in with the pink. The pink or the warm nude. We have Dice House and Hook as my two main contenders. I haven't done a pink lip in a while. Let's go ahead and do a pink lip real quick. I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop and Barbie Dream House lip liner. I feel like this will be a pretty close shade. These are the Fresh Kiss Lip Lacquer Formula. I actually really like these. This is the look. Was the pink lip a mistake? I'm not really sure. I think it's kind of cute. It's definitely not my normal shade of pink, but it's cute. I think I like it. What do we think of this look, guys? I actually really enjoy this one. I feel like this collection has been a lot of fun to play with and it's been very easy to play with. A lot of the stuff is very cohesive and you have a huge range from super neutral to really bright and pink. I think I'm gonna be doing some brighter pink looks over on my Instagram reels. I feel very fresh and ready to do my chores today. If you love ColourPop as much as I do, make sure you're subscribed. I do like to try and review all of the major big collections, so you don't wanna miss any of those. And if this is your first time here, hi, I'm so glad you joined us today and thank you for sitting down and chatting with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye friends.